In today's video, I'll be revealing a secret SEO tool that I've been using to find low competition, easy to rank blog post keywords for any niche. So let's go ahead and get started. That tool is called Rank IQ. Rank IQ is specifically made for bloggers that would like to rank their blog posts on the first page of Google. One of the main reasons why I like Rank IQ over some of the other keyword research tools in the market is because instead of having to do keyword research and sift through thousands and even millions of keywords to find that right keyword, Rank IQ already pre screens and finds low competition, easy to rank for keyword for any niche. So once you have an account for Rank IQ, you'll instantly get access to millions of keywords that you can start writing blog posts on. So this is the real difference between Rank IQ and other keyword research tools like Ahrefs. Instead of having to do research yourself, all you have to do is scroll through their niche finder and whatever niche that you're in, as you can see, this is a very, very exhaustive list. Whatever niche that you're in, you will be able to find pre-screened keywords that you can start writing on. In terms of niches, they have any niche that you can think about. So whatever niche that you're in, I guarantee you, you'll be able to find it on Rank IQ. There's niches like arts and crafts, beauty, business, career, Christian, computers, collectibles, college, DIY, decor, dogs and cats, drones, farming, fashion, fitness, food, games, gardening, hair, haircut, health, printables, relationships, etc. As you can see, there's a lot of different categories here and you can definitely find the keyword that you're looking for. And if your niche isn't on Rank IQ, they'll actually do manual research for you and send over those keywords. So you always will be able to have pre-screened keywords that you can write on for your blog post. Additionally, if you can't find your niche, you can always click on can't find your niche section. And this is where you'll be able to search through their library. So let's say we wanted to find keywords related to AI. We can search that in in all of their libraries and this will allow us to not have to go through their whole exhaustive list we would be able to get um, libraries right here so for example the first library is business ai so let's say we wanted to pin this we can pin this niche to the top and when we go back over to um, the keyword library as we can see here the business ai niche is going to be pinned at the top and then we can go through this specific library and find keywords. Once we're in that library, we'll be able to see all of the keywords related to business and AI. So first, we'll be able to see the keyword phrase. We'll also be able to see the competitor number, the visits per year, the time to rank, and we can also run a report and get a more detailed recommendations that we need to follow if we would like to write and optimize for the specific keyword. These keyword research metrics are very, very important. Competition will tell you how hard or how difficult it is for you to rank for that specific keyword. Visits per year will tell you how many visits per year you can expect from this specific keyword. And time to rank will tell you how fast or how slow it will take you for you to rank for this specific keyword. So just by finding your niche, you'll have access to hundreds and even thousands of keywords that you can start writing on. You can also add filters if you would like to filter down your keywords. So we can filter our competition level, we can filter our time to rank, our visits per year, and we can also filter by our keyword type. Maybe we just want questions, versus review or best. For this keyword, I'll be filtering down our competition level, so we'll leave it between 21 and 25. We'll also be filtering down our time to rank. I wanna rank very quickly, so we'll be selecting ultra fast. And those are going to be the two filters that I'll be entering for this specific niche. So as you can see, we get a couple of keywords in which we can choose from. And that's because this is a very, very niche library. And we've already niched it out even more with our filters. But as we can see here, we found a pretty good keyword, which is chat GPT cover letter. This gets about 1800 visits per year. We can rank ultra fast and the competition level is pretty low. So let's go ahead and run a report for this specific keyword to get more recommendations that we can follow when actually writing our content. That's another reason why I really like Rank IQ is because you're able to find pre screen keywords and then you're also able to get content optimization recommendations that you can follow. So essentially, it's combining a tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush with New Run Writer or Surfer SEO. Once the keyword report has been generated from Rank IQ, you'll be able to see some very key metrics that you can follow to rank for this keyword. We'll see the grade, the target word count, the competition level, the time to rank. And if you scroll down, we'll see the content analysis of topics that Google likes in this post. So essentially, these are going to be keywords or topics in which we'll need to include within that article so that we're ranking for the target keyword and the variations of the keywords that are related to that keyword. So there's about 95 keywords here. 
in which you can copy over and paste into ChatGPT, Bard, Claude, whatever you're using to write your content, and that will help you to write much, much more SEO optimized um, content for that specific article. Below that will be your title analysis. So this is going to be the topics that Google likes within your titles. So this is going to be a great, great help um, for you to create your title for that article and for your meta description. Below that, you're going to get a SERP overview. So it's going to show you the top ranking titles with competitor analysis. So again, this will give you more information as to what keywords you need to include within your title. And lastly, you'll be able to see the highest graded content in the SERP. So you're gonna see who's ranking number one, you're going to see what they've done to rank number one and you can take some um, some recommendations from those top ranked blog posts and use that within your own article. So now that you've done your research, it's time to actually start writing your content. So you can go ahead and copy over all of these keywords and prompt it within ChatGPT to include those keywords within your article. If you want me to show you the full blogging workflow that I would use to combine this rank IQ report with ChatGPT to write an SEO optimized article, let me know in the comments below and I will do a full tutorial on that. So Rank IQ is not just only great for finding new keywords, you can also do audits on existing keywords. So all you have to do is connect your Google Search Console and you'll be able to do audits on existing um, keywords and existing blog posts that you've already written about. So as I showed you earlier, you have the ability to find new keywords and do content optimizations and writing for new keywords, but you also have the ability to um, update and audit existing keywords that you have. And lastly, let's say we actually wrote the article on the ChatGPT cover letters. We can run a report on this specific keyword with our URL of the blog post that we created. And this will give us the grade of the content and will give us improvements that we need to make for our specific article that we created. So this is really, really awesome because it kind of walks you through the whole process of finding keywords optimizing your keywords, and then even further optimizing your keyword after you've written your article on your website. So if you are a blogger, and if you are a online publisher, I highly recommend that you check out Rank IQ for yourself. Unfortunately, there's no free trial, and you have to pay $49 per month to get access to Rank IQ. But if you have the budget and you're serious about growing your blogs or your websites, I do think it is a worthwhile investment. Stay tuned, I will be doing a full review in which I grab a keyword from Rank IQ, and I show you how to write that um, keyword and include all of those target keywords using ChatGPT. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well. If you wanna use Rank IQ for yourselves, I'll leave a link for Rank IQ in the description below.